Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to cook beets in the Instant Pot. I absolutely love using our Instant Pot for all sorts of things. It just makes it so much faster and easier and I'm a very forgetful person so the Instant Pot is always coming in handy for us. Beets are one of our family's favorite side dishes for dinner. Everyone in our family likes them. They're actually my one-year-old daughter's second favorite food ever. Her first favorite is broccoli and her second favorite are beets. And I have no idea why, but it's awesome. Because beets are so healthy for you. They're high in fiber and vitamin C and a bunch of different things. And they're also really great for brain health. I definitely like getting a lot of beets in my family's diet. So let's get right into this recipe. So I bought a bag of beets from a local farmer, and I'll probably only cook a few of these. I'm gonna pick out ones that are around a consistent size because you don't wanna cook ones that are like this big with ones that are like this big because they won't cook the same. So you wanna kinda of pick out ones that are around the same size. So I have some that are around this size. They're kind of medium size, I guess. There's a lot in there that are smaller than this. So I have seven of this size, and I'm gonna go wash them in the sink and scrub them with a brush, get all the dirt out and everything, and then these have already been cut. But if you're getting ones that still have the greens on top, you're gonna leave a little bit of a stem, usually like an inch of stem, but these have already been cut, so I'm not gonna cut any more off. So let's go wash all these. Okay, now that they're all washed, I have my Instant Pot insert here, and I'm gonna just put all the beads on the bottom of the pot. And then I have a cup of water here and I'm gonna pour it on top of the beets. And then I'm gonna stick this in my Instant Pot. So you can see that they make a nice little layer on the bottom there. They're not piled on top of each other. I think it's better if, you, if you're able to not stack them, but if you need to cook a bunch, I would still just cook as many as you need to and not worry about it. So I'm gonna put my lid on here. And make sure that it's turned to ceiling. And then we're gonna do the pressure cook for 15 minutes. So now if you have some really huge beets, you probably wanna cook them more like 20 minutes. And if you have just like little tiny cute beets, then maybe cook them more like 10 minutes. So it just kind of depends on the size of the beets, but those are kind of medium sized, so I'm gonna do 15 minutes. And if they're if they get done and I test them and they're just still not done, you, you can always put them in for longer. So those are gonna come up to pressure and then cook for 15 minutes and I will see you after they're done. Later. Okay, so the Instant Pot just beeped and I'm gonna do a manual release. I pressed cancel and now I have a towel here. I'm gonna put the towel over the top. A bit. You can just release it and let the stuff spray everywhere, but I really like to contain it with a towel so it doesn't get my shelves all dirty and everything. So then just under the towel, I'm going to turn this and release the pressure. Okay, now it stopped hissing, so the pressure is released. I'm just going to take the towel off. Everything's still kind of hot, so just be careful not to burn yourself. But I'm going to open this up, open the lid. Whoa. So I have a tongs here, and I'm going to take one of these out and see if it's done. I'm just gonna stab it with a fork to test it. And that's actually still feeling kind of firm, so I'm gonna put these in here for another five minutes. Okay, this went for another five minutes. I did another manual release using my towel on top. And then I took out another one, and let's test this. That's actually feeling really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of them out. And now I have a nice plate of beets here. Once these cool off, I'm gonna peel the skins off. Now that they're cooked, the skins are gonna be nice and easy to peel off. They're just gonna come right off. I'll cut the ends, and then I'm just gonna season them with salt and pepper, and we're gonna have them alongside pork chops tonight. So there's a ton of ways you can season these. You can get creative and do more of a sweet seasoning or more of a savory seasoning, but generally salt and pepper is just kind of our go-to. We just like the flavor of beets, so I really love that you're able to play around with this Instant Pot recipe, and not all beets cook totally the same. It really depends on the size and the freshness, and you can always add another five or 10 minutes. If those hadn't been quite done even still, I would have put them in for another five minutes. If they had, the first time I tested them, if they had been like, really still firm, I would have just added 10 minutes and done it a little longer, but I love that this recipe is flexible. It's the same thing as if I was cooking them in the oven and they weren't quite done, I would just pop them in there for a bit longer, except this is still way, way faster than cooking them in the oven. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and it was helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!